Rabbits, pigeons, and chickens have been placed by the authorities near the scene of last week's massive explosions in the Chinese city of Tianjin in an attempt to calm fears over toxic poisoning. Makes no sense, but the explosion unfortunately killed 114 people, 17,000 homes were damaged, more than 170 companies and businesses were affected, 3,000 cars destroyed. I mean, that's all terrible, those numbers, but also the concern about the long-term environmental impact, as well as the potential impact on human health, has grown a lot this week over Chinese social media. So, what did Chinese officials in Tianjin do? How do they respond to all the people uh, getting on their case about the chemicals? They take a bunch of bunnies and chickens and pigeons. They put them in brightly colored, Aww. nicely colored cages. So and they cute. put them around there to say, hey, look, these, these, these animals, they're cute and they survived. They're just, they're, they're fine. Meanwhile, the authorities themselves had masks. They were covered. And then they drop off the, 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 the animals and they leave. And according to social media, the animals were okay. Uh, they survived uh, spending two hours at the site. Um, uh, who knows what would happen if they, if they left them longer. But, I mean, it's a joke, and I'm joking about it. Uh, what's funny is the way that they go about these things, right? Like, this is supposed to get people less angry. But what's not funny is the fact that this warehouse had serious, serious levels of sodium cyanide. And, and, and the, the government is trying to downplay this deadly chemical, saying it poses no risk by, by doing this. Um, now, there's certain things, you know, that are up for debate, whether, whether or not, you know, these levels are, are safe enough for people to return. But one thing you can't debate are, 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 what, are, what are the events that took place after this explosion. Now, the first rain after this explosion, we saw this weird white foam coming down from the sky. It was burning people's skins. No one had any idea what the hell it was. Obviously, it had something to do with all the chemicals that went up into the sky mm -hmm. from the explosion. Again, another thing was the fish. Thousands of fish were turning up. We saw photographs like, like this one here. Um, that's the High River, uh, just a few kilometers away from Tianjin. Um, again, not surprising. I mean, also not a coincidence because we did not see this before that explosion. So what do you think, Margaret, about the, the, the officials trying to downplay uh, you know, this as an environmental risk by, by putting bunnies and cute animals in <laughs> brightly colored cages in this what looks like post-apocalyptic site. Right. Well, going, going down the line here, so first, acid rain is very common when you have a chemical explosion. Everybody mm -hmm. will tell you that, that, you know, if it's large enough, what it, which it looks like in this case it was, yeah. of course that's going to happen. That phenomenon isn't surprising. What is surprising, though, Nick, is the fact that officials are putting these adorable little wonderful wiggly nose bunnies which i really have a soft spot for into the into the middle of a, of a, um, a wasteland that possibly has these chemicals left on the ground you know rabbits they tend to multiply we'll have to wait and see if you, they have any little baby bunnies with cyclops I, I mean who knows you would think that they're going to morph into like five-footed uh, you know, I, I, I mean, hope, I would think. I that, hope not because that then, can't be too safe. Right, right, because then it would make the government look bad. And their so called cleanup of that area where they said that nothing got into the water, but then you look at that picture you of the fish. You have a million dead nothing. fish. Right, there's a problem. So, is the military doing its job? Um, were they taking the necessary precautions? Is the question. Of right? course not. I mean, the official story of China, we, we've seen this time and again, where there's an official report, and then sometimes that might differ from the reality of the situation. That's what it looks like, though, here. But, I mean, let's not forget, you know, they didn't, the culpability aspect, accidents mm. happen. These things happen, you know, it, they just do. Plants explode, and, you know, sometimes you, you have to have an official story so that people get back to life, regardless of its Very good point. reality or not. Yeah. Good. I, I definitely agree with you. Well, we want to know what you guys think about these, as Margaret describes them, wiggly-nosed, cute <laughs> little animals. I, pigeons and chickens, too. I had a bunny, Perhaps so pigeons, of I would... pigeons aren't exactly as wiggly-nosed, but it doesn't matter. Right. Animals are animals. And, and what do you guys think about the, the government using this uh, as a way to prove that, that it's safe to return to these areas and that they actually did do a good job just because people are pissed off over Chinese social media? Let us know in the comments below, and if you haven't already, subscribe to the Lip TV for more.